Diana Deserano, or as we like to call her, our cast hugger. She is, an hugger. She, is an, she is an excellent hugger. She will be out after the show giving out free hugs if you are interested. She is going to read a poem for you. My name is Diana, and I am at least third generation crazy. I have a genetic tendency toward bipolar and borderline personality disorder. I also live with complex post-traumatic stress disorder, brought on by years of sexual trauma, domestic violence, and an unstable home life. I experience major depressive episodes, which sometimes last several months. I have an inability to sustain meaningful relationships. I am prone to sexual promiscuity and alternating frigidity. I have anxiety attacks and dissociative behaviors. I struggle with substance abuse and self-injury. I feel alone, scared, tired, and ashamed most of the time. I'm a lot like my mom. When I was in my mid-20s, I experienced a triggering event before I even knew what a trigger was. My emotions spiraled out of control. I cried all the time. And I began to experience episodes of rage. I sat down one night in an attempt to make sense of my behavior. Drawing from my own experiences and from watching my mother growing up, I came up with this poem. I share this with you tonight in hopes that it helps you make sense of the duality that many of us experience. It's called The Story of Her, The Story of Me. I won't ask for you to sympathize or believe what seems as only lies. You may not like her, but she's my friend. She'll be with me to the bitter end. For many years, I knew she was here. Her emergence is my greatest fear. All my energy spent keeping her down. Now that I'm tired, she keeps coming round. Let me explain just who she is. The story about her goes like this. When I was just a little girl, I didn't understand the hurt in my world. I bounced around from pain to pain. Some of it hurt, some of it shame. But no one likes a little girl frown. So I learned to turn my frown upside down. Oh, not a one would see my tears or figure out my deepest fears. That's when I found her deep down inside. I keep a space for her to reside. She was willing to take my pain so I could finally smile again. She was good at what she did when I was young and just a kid. As I grew old, the pain grew strong and she couldn't take it for very long. She became everything that I was not. Angry and hateful, with a temper so hot. Dark and evil inside is she. No love in her eyes, only misery. It's so much pain deep down inside that there's no longer a place for her to hide. Oh, how I fear her and keep her in chains. Yet I can't live without her to take away my pain. So I don't blame her for the things she does. Nor will I apologize for her because she takes my pain and locks it away so I don't feel it every day. Thank you. 